I'm Zor. Welcome to Unizor Education. Um, I will uh, solve the problem number three uh, for complex numbers right now. And this is uh, an equation which we would like to solve. Um, first of all, let me just say up front that it's quite obvious that this equation cannot be solved in um, uh, real numbers because obviously it can be changed to x to the fourth. Oops, sorry. x to the second plus 4x plus 4 plus 1 equal to 0. And this represents the full square, x plus 2 square plus 1 equal to 0. So obviously, this is a positive number, and it cannot be uh, equal to 0 if you add 1. So we do need complex numbers to solve certain um, quadratic equations. But in this particular case, um, I will just use whatever simplification I just made to solve this equation quite easily. I don't need the formula, basically, to solve this equation. Because I can immediately write from here that x plus 2 squared is equal to minus 1, from which we derive immediately that x plus 2 is equal to plus or minus i. where i is a complex number um, which square of which is equal to minus 1. Why is it plus or minus uh, i in front of i? Well, obviously, because i square is minus 1 and minus i square is also minus 1. So whenever we are extracting the root, square root, from um, any number, we should really not forget uh, plus and minus in this particular case. Well, and obviously from here, the solution is x is equal to minus 2 plus or minus i. We have two solutions, which is exactly the right thing for quadratic equation. Maybe a little later we will talk about that any equation of nth degree um, in complex numbers uh, has exactly n roots. Some of the roots can be... Uh, multiple roots, so to speak, but anyway, it's uh, n roots. In this case, quadratic equation, the, the power is 2, so we have two different uh, roots for this equation. What's next step? Never forget to check your um, answer. Let's just check it out. Okay x is equal to minus 2 plus or minus i. <coughs> all right. First of all, x squared minus 2 plus i squared. Let's check for plus first. Um, plus 4x plus 4 minus 2 plus i plus 5 equals... Um, minus 2 square is 4, minus 4i, plus i squared, right? Um, minus 8, plus 4i, plus 5 equals... Uh, minus 4i and plus 4i are reduced. 4 minus 8 is minus 4. Plus 5 is 1. Plus i squared, which is 1 minus 1, because i squared is minus 1, which is equal to 0. Exactly right. So that's the verification of the first root. And now let's do the second one. It should be very similar. 
So it's minus 2 minus i squared plus 4 uh, times minus 2 minus i plus 5 equals 4 plus 4i plus i squared. That's this guy. Minus 8 minus 4i plus 5 equals 4i minus 4i is 0. 4 minus 8 minus 4 plus 5 is 1 plus i squared. 1 minus 1, 0. Both roots fit. Check is done. The equation is solved. By the way, um, the way how I solved this equation wasn't really uh, to apply any kind of formula. And uh, I do prefer to derive uh, uh, certain results without actually remembering any formula. I would rather do it the way how I just derived, uh, how I just solved this equation, by just noticing certain things, the full square and something like this. For equations of this type, uh, the power of 2, that's probably the best if you don't remember the formula. Uh, the formula is rather, li uh, rather long, so I mean, you might forget it, that's okay. <clears throat> as long as you don't forget how to derive this formula, it's okay to forget it. Um, thanks very much. Hope you enjoyed it.